हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग सो इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इट इज ऑफ क्लास टू द चैप्टर्स नेम इज नाउन्स सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर सो स्टूडेंट्स एज यू कैन सी इन द स्क्रीन देयर आर फ्यू पिक्चर्स ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू कैन सी पिक्चर ऑफ वन जग एंड नेक्स्ट टू इट a picture of one cap on the right side you can see a picture of one basket and next to it a picture of one tree so what is common about all of these things that these are only one in number that is one jug one cap one basket one tree so these are singular nouns because they are one in number so as you can see students in the left side two jugs picture of two jugs next to it picture of three cups on the right hand side picture of three basket and next to it four trees so one thing is common from this that is all of them are showing more than one item so these these are more than one so these are called plural nouns so students as you can see in the screen there are few points to remember add es to form the plural of nouns that end with s double s sh ch or x what does that mean that means singular nouns ending with s double s sh ch or x when they will become plural es will be added to them at the end for example bus will become buses because bus ends with s similarly brush will become brushes because brush ends with sh class will become classes because class ends with double s bench will become benches because bench ends with ch box will become boxes because box ends with x fox will become foxes because fox ends with x now rule number 2 as you can see it is written that we can add ves to form the plural of a noun that ends with f or fe what does that mean it means that if a singular noun ends with f and fe we will add ves to the end of it that means half the word half ends with f so we will remove the letter f and we will add ves at the end of it so the word will become h a l f e s halves so from half to halves to make it plural another example we can add is the word leaf if we remove f from the word leaf we will add ves to it and the word will become leaves so from leaf to leaves to make it plural rule number 3 says we add ies to form the plural of a noun that ends with y what does that mean it means that singular nouns that ends with y to make them plural we will remove y and put ies at the end of those nouns for example puppy will become puppies because we will remove y from puppy and we will add ies to make it plural like that the word donkey ends with y so we will remove y and add ies so that it will become donkeys fly will become flies because it ends with y so we will remove y and will add ies so it will become flies now there are few exceptions to this rule few of the words do not follow any rule when changed into plural forms for example man becomes men 
woman becomes women foot feet tooth teeth ox oxen child children mouse mice goose geese some singular nouns do not change their forms when they become plural for example sheep deer moose aircraft fish etc so these words will remain the same they won't change even if they become plural now at the end of the video i have added a clip of few singular and plural nouns i hope that will be helpful for you all thank you students bye